Hi guys and welcome back to another episode on the BTR Rebuild channel. So, I've had a few words with a few mechanics, people who know what they're doing. Um, heads out of time, possibly bent the valves. Um, so that head will be getting sent to a company, a machine shop, um, to have my valves replaced and have it cleaned up. Um, and what I'm gonna do is pour some water into the cylinders um, to the top and leave it overnight. And if the cylinder water level has dropped, that means I am losing compression in the cylinder, which means air, water, no, or fuel slash air is escaping into the bottom which means i'm losing compression um that's the easiest way to sort of figure out whether my pistons piston rings are doing their job um i know i was reading zero compression on number four but that was with the head on so what this will mean is if my cylinder four is leaking slash water level dropping what i'm expecting is all the first three cylinders to keep their water level and number four to be dropping more or less um and if that's the case it's basically a new engine or fix this block um we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but let me pour some water into these cylinders i may have to wait and record this tomorrow and we'll see the results basically a little bit of a science lesson um or just a mechanical lesson i don't fucking know but um yeah let's get some water into those bores fill them up and uh, we'll see what we've got basically right so all i've got is a little bit of this deionized water so i'm just gonna Awesome. That's bloody dropping already. That I'm expecting these three to hold water, but as you can tell, number four, number four is definitely down which is not good news as you can see we're losing it but those three holding it so number four is down which means this job is a much bigger job than i wanted it to be i was hoping i got lucky uh, but i haven't um so next step is block out gearbox off try and find myself either an engine if the price is right or see what my options are for repairing piston number four um but i will update you in the next clip so back on the mini next day and all four cylinders they've all dropped the water and i knew eventually that the water would drop um so it's one of them right now um so i've been in touch with a few people and an engineering company called south wales pistons and they basically told me that they need the block and the head to measure the bores and check the valves on the head um so that would mean i need to strip the gearbox off all the ancillaries um take the cra uh, crankshaft out, take the pistons out, take the block and the head to South Wales Pistons, it's only around the corner, um, so they can measure and tell me what I've got basically. Because um, there is a slight bit of scoring on one of the bores, so they'll either tell me that I need to go to an oversized piston, um, which obviously is money. Um, so I basically have to weigh up now I've got to take the engine out anyway, because 
if I'm to, just to replace the engine for like for like, um, it'll need to be stripped out completely. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is strip the engine down, take the gearbox and the engine out, um, and then take it to South Wales Pistons, let them do what they need to do. Because that's going to be, say, they, they gave me a, a quick quote about £100 plus VAT to check the measurements on the bores and check uh, my valves. The valves I can do myself. I'm pretty confident that I can change over the valve stem seals. Um, I think that's pretty doable myself. It's just when it comes to the pistons, um, obviously the bores would need to be oversized. I believe the standard size is 77 mil and they would all have to go to a 7 77.5 mil so then it'd be new pistons new piston rings so i don't think there's a cheap way of actually getting this engine repaired myself um with the knowledge i have at the moment um so i think that's what i need to do now is crack on getting the engine out which it shouldn't take much longer now i've just got to disconnect gearbox um from the block save cylinder drop the exhaust off um auxiliary belt um ac alternator um just the engine mount on the back um and then it's just the wiring loom and then timing chain out uh bot uh sump off drain the oil undo all the corner rods all the shells pop out the piston and the con rod and I think we're down to the bare block then um, it's just going to be reassembly then and just I think South Wales Pistons do offer that service it's just how much does it cost so I think that at that point that's what I'm going to have to weigh up because um, I don't think I can get a second hand engine for well a reliable one that I know is going to work uh, which could run into the same issue, piston number four, etc. Uh, valve stem seals, all the common issues that are pro wrong with this engine. I could just run into those same things after spending 800 quid. I was looking into getting another car off Copart, just a crashed Mini, stripping out all the parts, selling what I can, using the engine, and trying to like basically spend as little as possible on an engine. But there's time constraint and there's space constraint really so i think repairing this block and this head is the most viable option really um just based on my situation right now because i've got cars laying about and i haven't got any space to put them um so yeah i think it's just gonna have to be knuckle down get this thing stripped apart remember where everything goes take plenty of pictures and just try and learn and try and fix this block uh basically so um yeah, I think I'm gonna have to crack on and do that, guys. Right, time to drop it. but all I need now is to strip the block off gearbox off that's only a couple of bolts clutch flywheel off um, and then I'll put it up on an engine stand flip it round take a sump off take all the uh, cam uh, camshaft out not the camshaft the crankshaft and um, loosen off the bolts for the pistons and then we'll get the block over to South Wales Pistons, I think. So um, let me crack on with that real quick. I'll have to get the timing chain and everything out as well, but it shouldn't take too long now. I think I've done the hardest part. Um, so just a couple more bolts to go, really. the 
away. Um, just feeling this clutch. I don't think it's supposed to be making that noise, to be honest. So we'll see how tight these bolts are. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do now, split the box. Not split the box, I've done that. I'm gonna take off all these Torx bits here, holding the clutch plate, um, the pressure plate on, and then I'll remove the clutch. It should be about six bolts in the middle. Take that off, and the flywheel should come out then as well. And then we can, uh, oh, there's oil. Shouldn't have tipped it that way, but it's out now. There's oil, yes, it is what it is. We're working with engines. Um, so yeah, and then I can um, put it up on the engine stand and then we'll take a look inside the uh, inside the sum. So uh, nearly there guys. I didn't realize I was gonna get all this done the same day, but um, smashing it. interesting finds um so there's dimples on each of these caps here three two and one so piston number four this is him catastrophic fail in the piston um yeah <laughs> quite interesting uh because i don't know where the rest i'll have to check the sump for um with a magnet or something but um yeah that's quite funny isn't it um so i've taken them out uh like like this and i've numbered it i say gearbox crank and then four three two one and then that's the top of the uh like the front of the engine the way i've got it now i've got camera evidence now i can go back to so i know which one goes in which but um yeah the scoring i don't think is too bad i don't actually think I think we can get away with a home, but I've never, I've never dealt with an engine like this. So obviously I'll leave that to the experts um, and we might have to go up a piston size. Um, but yeah, I got to basically, I've just been using the crank bolt to, oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. What an idiot. I was trying to spin the engine now, but I was trying to spin the pistons. Right. Let's spin this round. So, what's next is take in. There's this section here that holds in the crank. Um, so, we've got a couple of 16 mils. I had to take off these two caps here. Um, I think I might have to buy new of these and maybe put some sealant in there because um, they were hidden under there so i've got one of the mounts holding this little the bottom section in here um and then there looks like there's a load of like 10 mils all holding it in as well um so next step is getting the crank out and then getting it well getting this section off here i guess it's like the middle of the block because you've got the sum You've got the oh, the bottom end and then you've got the block and then you've got the head so yeah this is the bottom bottom end this is definitely the deepest i've dug into an engine so it is quite interesting to see what i gotta do i just know that when i have to put the crank in whether i do it or the machine shop do it there's something to do with the dti or there's a dti gauge and you need to make sure that you put the crank in like in the right way. So there's some measuring tools I do need to buy or pay someone to do. Cause I wanna try and obviously do as much as I can um, myself, save as much money as possible and to learn as much as possible. So I just gotta find the balance there. So I'm gonna crack all these bolts off. Um, that should release the crank. 
technically. I think those are the bolts holding in the crank. And then I've got to release all the 10 mils, I think, around the side. So um, yeah, let's crack on with that. Shouldn't take long. I said there was less than 20 bolts, I lied. There's probably less than 30 now. <laughs> so yeah, I just gotta remember where they all go. Um, but yeah, get that off. And it's still early, so I might be able to drop it there today. Um, so yeah, let's go. head is comes out basically um i'm not sure what they wanted me to do with the tappets and the hydraulic lifters so i'm going to leave them in for now i've um, marked my cardboard exactly how it's laid out now so i got this on camera <coughs> of exactly how it goes sorry um and the block is bare now i've taken all the oil um squirters out all the um shells you can see some of them are marked quite badly um piston pores obviously knackered um uh, yeah a bit knackered to be honest um took me well most of the day i've start. i started at about 12 and the engine was still in the car and it's about five now um and we're completely stripped apart from valves and springs and tappets and lifters basically so i'm gonna pack these in the car and then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna shoot these over to South Wales Pistons and then I can let you know what the verdict is over there. Um, so yeah, bit of a mess. Oil literally everywhere. I thought I emptied the sump, but there was oil in <laughs> everywhere basically. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull up these tiles and actually mop all the oil up. There's tools, there's bits. I've been marking the cardboard and putting the bolts in. Just so I've got a bit of uh, a guide if I do have to put this engine back together, um, which is a bit scary, I can't lie. Um, I will need to get some torque specs, etc., together. Um, we'll need all new bolts, gaskets, you name it, I'm gonna need it. So that's what I'm gonna have to weigh up is the pistons the head getting skimmed, the valves getting replaced, the bores getting bored, <laughs> um, everything. I'm gonna have to basically add up the costs and compare it to getting a second hand engine. But I know if I get a second hand engine, there's a chance that one may be faulty as well. So I'm hoping that the parts do come in under what it would cost to replace the engine. So then I know that I've got basically a brand new engine. And um, yeah, it's just up to me to put it back together and make sure I put it together right. Um, and hopefully that'll sort this thing out. Otherwise, if everything's too expensive, I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, um, yeah, there's a lot to weigh up basically. So, um, yeah, let me shove these in the car and then I'll get back to you in a couple of days time when they, um, when they either give me a call or whatever. So uh, yeah, ciao for now. <laughs> 